Subnormal Subnormal intelligence represents the lowest range of human cognitive functioning. Individuals here often have IQ scores under 70, usually due to genetic conditions like Down syndrome, developmental complications, or early brain injuries. They may struggle with language, memory, and abstract reasoning. Even basic everyday tasks, such as dressing, eating, or following simple instructions, can require lifelong support. Their experience of reality is immediate and sensory. Tone, touch, and emotional presence often matter more than logic or spoken explanations. Yet, emotional awareness can be surprisingly strong. They can sense kindness, fear, or tension in others. While independent living is rarely possible, many form deep bonds and express joy or sadness in rich, nonverbal ways. Modern society focuses on respect and supportive care rather than outdated labels. With structure, love, and understanding, they can live meaningful lives within their abilities. Below average. Below average intelligence includes people who are fully capable of independence, but may struggle with abstract thinking or complex problem solving. Their IQ typically falls between 70 and 85. Academic areas like math, science, and grammar are often challenging, and these individuals learn best through repetition, routine, and hands-on practice rather than theory. They thrive in structured environments and may excel in roles like customer service, caregiving, or manual work. While they might fall behind in formal schooling, many have strong practical or social strengths, loyalty, warmth, and intuition. This level is often underestimated, yet with encouragement and respect, People here can raise families, succeed in their jobs, and contribute to their communities. They shine when valued for their abilities instead of judged for their weaknesses. Average most people fall into the average range, even though many underestimate it. Average intelligence allows for reading, writing, basic math, following rules, and everyday problem solving. People here understand cause and effect, make plans, and learn from mistakes. This is the intelligence that keeps society running. Teachers, drivers, nurses, technicians, small business owners. It's reliable, adaptable, and functional but there's a subtle trap. This level often feels like the top. People are smart enough to feel confident, but not always aware of what they don't know. They may mistake familiarity for expertise and stop questioning deeper assumptions. Average intelligence is stable, but it can also hold people in place, not due to lack of potential, but because life works well enough as it is. Above average. Above average intelligence speeds up thought. Learning feels natural, even effortless. Patterns become obvious before others notice them. Outcomes can be predicted early because the mind connects dots quickly. School may have felt slow or repetitive, and conversations can feel like waiting for others to catch up. These people gravitate toward math, programming, engineering, philosophy, anything that involves systems and complexity. But this level has a downside. Seeing too much too quickly can create frustration. You might stay quiet because you mentally edit your words before saying them. You might pretend to fit in to avoid tension. High intelligence can lead to emotional distance, not out of arrogance, but because the mental pace is so different. If unmanaged, thinking fast can mean feeling alone. High High intelligence generally covers IQ scores between 130 and 145, the top few percent. People here don't just learn quickly, they make intuitive leaps. They solve problems before others even realize there's a problem. They excel at abstraction, complexity, and pattern recognition. They might breeze through advanced schoolwork or independently dive into subjects far beyond their grade level. They often enjoy puzzles, deep conversations, and solitary study. Emotionally, their speed can lead to isolation, especially when young. Their intellectual development outpaces emotional and social environments. With support, they become innovators, scientists, engineers, philosophers, people who expand human understanding. High intelligence isn't just being smart, it's thinking in ways most others never experience. Gifted. Gifted intelligence typically begins around IQ 145 and above, but numbers don't tell the whole story. These individuals think with unusual depth, speed, and originality. As children, they might show extraordinary memory, intense focus, or the ability to link big ideas across different subjects. They may self-teach music, build inventions from scraps, or write mature stories long before high school. They don't just solve problems, they redefine them. Giftedness brings challenges too. Frustration with slow systems, emotional intensity, or difficulty finding peers who relate. Their thoughts are fast, but so are their feelings. With support, they often become creators, innovators, and thinkers who push human potential forward. Genius Genius level intelligence is less about raw IQ and more about unusual cognitive architecture. Geniuses don't simply solve problems, they reshape the underlying assumptions. 
They question the foundations of their fields. Think Einstein or Ramanujan, minds that don't just go faster but in completely different directions. Their insights can shift entire disciplines, science, art, philosophy. But genius rarely feels glamorous. It often feels isolating. People can't keep up. Systems can't contain them. Even praise feels off target. Many geniuses are dismissed or criticized long before they're celebrated. Too strange, too early is a common story. Polymath. Polymaths are geniuses with breadth. While one field geniuses master a single domain, polymaths master many. Figures like Leonardo da Vinci or Benjamin Franklin didn't just excel. They integrated art, science, engineering, politics, and creativity into unified understanding. Polymaths don't see boundaries between subjects. They merge ideas, math with music, biology with philosophy, turning knowledge into interconnected systems. This level requires not only high intelligence but discipline, time, and deep curiosity. Polymaths often work for decades, chasing questions no single field can answer. Visionary Visionaries blend genius with foresight and courage. They don't just understand the world, they see what it could become. While polymaths master existing fields, visionaries invent entirely new directions. Their ideas seem unrealistic until they prove transformative. They connect science, society, and imagination in ways others overlook. Visionaries face resistance, rejection, and doubt, but they push forward, driven by belief and boldness. Their impact shapes industries, movements, and history. Transcendent, transcendent intelligence is the highest form, where intelligence becomes awareness rather than analysis. These minds question the nature of thought itself. They see through systems, ego, and illusion. They detect patterns in human behavior, consciousness, and identity. Think Buddha, Socrates, Jung, figures who didn't seek answers as much as truth. This form of intelligence is quiet and often misunderstood. It challenges every structure our sense of self depends on. Transcendent individuals don't dominate. They dissolve the need to. Their brilliance guides rather than forces. At this level, intelligence stops serving the individual and begins serving insight. 